guys and welcome back to another video in today's video i wanted to share with you guys how i was able to make these chocolate covered strawberries with valentine's day being around the corner i wanted to show you guys a cheap way that you guys can make strawberries and give it to a loved one for valentine's day if you guys would want to see how to make them please keep on watching These are some of the ingredients you will be needing. I have strawberries, crushed up almonds, cocoa, a plate to melt your chocolate in, chocolate, white chocolate, a small Ziploc bag, a spoon, and a tray to put your strawberries when done. Before we get started, one of the first things you want to do is wash your strawberries and dry them. It is very important for you to dry your strawberries because if the chocolate feels any moisture, it will make the chocolate kind of look nasty so you do want to wash and dry your strawberries what i do to dry my strawberries is get paper towels after they've been washed put them in the towel and then i wrap them and then just kind of move them around that way they're completely dry To start off with first we're going to go ahead and melt our chocolate this is the chocolate i am going to be using i did buy it at walmart i believe it retails for about nine dollars but the key point to this is that i am not using the stove i'm only using the microwave you do not want to burn your chocolate so you want to stir it every 30 seconds so we're going to go ahead and put them in a plate and then put it in the microwave This is what after 30 seconds did. So obviously it's only a little melted on the bottom, not a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in there for another 30 seconds. This is what after one minute looks like. It's a lot more melted now. This is how after a minute and a half looks like. This is probably the perfect consistency that you wanna see your chocolate in. Now that I'm done with this chocolate, I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the microwave also until it reaches the perfect consistency that I am looking for. This is how our white chocolate is looking like. This is the chocolate that I'm going to be using with the little Ziploc bag that I showed you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my chocolate in there now. Just gonna go ahead and push all the chocolate down now what we're gonna do is start dipping our strawberries into the chocolate here is our chocolate now so what you want to do is get the stem of the strawberry pull it up these are already cleaned and dried you're gonna go ahead and dip it into the chocolate place it into a you can use wax paper I'm using aluminum foil but you can use wax paper also and you're going to go ahead and do the same thing to all of your strawberries. What I'm going to do to this one is add a cocoa to it. And the way you want to do that is get cocoa and just move it around. As you can tell, it's just staying on there and then just put it in a tray. Here's the other one. We're going to go ahead and dip this one into our almonds. Look at that. And you're gonna go ahead and repeat into all of the strawberries that you wanna do. Once your strawberries are all done, I'm going to show you how to do the white stripes on your strawberries with white chocolate. What you're going to do is cut a little hole on the bottom of your piping bag or Ziploc bag. And what you want to do is you're going to go back and forth. So you want to give yourself enough room to work with and just go over it. And 
and that's how those are going to be looking like. For presentation, what you can do is purchase one of these. I bought this at the dollar store and I bought these at Walmart. Um, I think these were like 89 cents and this was a dollar at the dollar store. So what you wanna do first is go ahead and open your heart and you're gonna go ahead and get the little cupcake cups. I believe it should fit around five strawberries in here depending how big your strawberries are. And what you wanna do is line them up So what I'm going to do is add one of each flavor that I did. Here you go. So we were able to make five of them fit in and tell me that's not the cutest thing. So this can be a gift for your husband, your boyfriend, whomever you decide to make these chocolate covered strawberries for. And you're just going to go ahead and cover them up. And there you have it. This is going to be it for today's video. I do hope you guys enjoy the way that I make my chocolate covered strawberries. If you guys did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you all in my next video.